What's up guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm gonna talk to you about two awesome features that are part of the March 2023 Power BI update. The first one is the clear and apply all slices button. And the second one is an object interaction. This is actually my favorite one so far in 2023 because it allows you to customize your visuals so much quicker. Don't miss it. Hey, before we get started, if this is the first time you stop by this channel, please don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. So now guys, let's do this. So real quick, if you haven't taken a look at the updates, here they are. This is the March 2023 Power BI updates. You can also download the application here, the latest one. And you can have here all the updates. We have for reporting, data connectivity, service, mobile, and also visualizations, third-party visuals. Like I said before, we're gonna be looking into the first option here and also the third option right here. If you wanna explore more, there is more information here. You can play with that. You can also watch the video, the Microsoft video, reporting, more details here, format pane, new styling, an object interaction. That's the one that we're gonna be talking about today. And also visual container improvements etc i'm going to share with you this link as well if you want to explore more details so now guys let's go over power bi desktop and start playing with these new features clear and apply all slices so what is the issue that we're trying to solve with these new features so let me show you an example real quick let's say that i want to apply filters here to this report uh, i care about mexico and the united states there you go so you see this behavior, once I select a country, it automatically, did the changes get reflected here in the visuals. And then for product, it's gonna be the same. Let's say Amarela here. And then for segment, how about small business? So automatically, these changes are being reflected. And then high here for this count band. Here's the thing. If I wanna apply all filters at once, now I can do that. And also, if I want to delete all filters, all slices, I can do that with just one click. Because for now, check this out. I have to do this manually, right? One by one. One by one. And you can create a bookmark here to delete filters, but it's too much extra work, in my opinion. But now we can do this with just one click. So in order to insert, apply slices, apply all slices, and also the clear all slices button, what we can do is the following. We actually have a few options here. If the first one, if you go over insert and then buttons, here you can see these two options, apply all slices and also clear all slices. Let's do that. And let's place this right here. And then let's go over buttons again, and then hit clear all slices. Let's drag this down. So now we have these two buttons. So now let's give it a shot. Uh, let's say that I wanna select also again, Mexico and the United States. See right there? So these visuals are not interacting automatically. And then product, how about Amarela like we did before. And then for segment, small business. So this is not changing automatically. And then for band, you can also select high here. So it's not changing automatically because we just added these two buttons so now hold down control and let's see what happens apply all slices check this out boom so now you can see that all these filters all these slices were applied all at once now let's say that you want to leave all the slices here all filters now this is more quite straightforward hold down control and hit clear all slices check this out boom so this was an issue for me because in the past, I got questions from my business users that said, hey, I don't think this report is capturing the right information. And then I realized there were a couple of slices still active. So they didn't delete all slices with this one right here, with this feature. So we're solving that issue. Perfect, that's how it works, guys. So now let's move on to the next feature, an object interaction. There you go. So here. Like I said before, with this option, with this feature, 
you can customize your visuals so much quicker. So let me show you how it works. Now, as you might have noticed, we don't have the field pane here anymore. We do have the format pane here, but we can delete it if we want. And then we can also delete this one if we want. And then the next step is if you want to insert a visual, so you can go over here and you have the options here. So let's go over here and let's select this area chart. Boom. There you go. Let me change this later. And now, if you click on this visual, here are the options. You can add data and build your visual from here. And then this new window pops up. Check this out. For the X axis, we're going to select right here, date. And then for the Y axis, we're going to select here a couple of measures, profit. We're going to add another one here, which is total sales. And now you can start playing with this visual. See? Another option here is to click on the camera here and then go back over here. Let's say that we don't care about these grid lines. Uh, let's see. We don't have grid lines here, but we can select more options. So now we have the format pane here. Grid lines. I don't care about grid lines. So delete them. And then let's say that we care about data labels. Let's select data labels here. There you go. What else can we do here? So let's edit the title. We can do that as well. Check this out. Profit and sales. There you go. So let's say that we want to increase the font size here. We can do that as well. Right click. There you go. I care about 20. And also we can do something really cool here. We can also add now subtitles if you don't know that. So check this out. We are still selecting this visual. If you go over here, so there is an option here called subtitle. So let's active that option and then we can do this by, by month. As you can see now, we are adding a subtitle. It helps you explain what is this visual about. And then another cool feature is a divider. So let's say that I care about a divider. Check this out. So now you have a divider. You can also edit this. Perhaps you want something lighter. You can do that as well. There you go. So now you can clearly see the title separated from the visual itself. And then we can keep editing here. Let's say that the, the legend, I need to center him. We can do that as well. Let's go over here, top center. So now let's create another visual here just to keep playing with this feature. Control C, Control V, and let's drag this to the right. Check this out. So let's say that we want to add a different type of visual here. So let's go over here, select the visual again, and then add data and build your visual. Click on here. So let's change here the visual type. How about if we care about this type of vision? We can do that as well. Any type of visual, right? You can change it. What else? How about if we care about instead of sales, I care about cost of goods sold. So we can do that. Check this out. Let's select cost of goods sold. It's changing perfectly fine. How about if we want to add small multiples here? We can add small multiples as well. We care about country. There you go. So you can make any changes here. So now let's say that we want to change the title. We can do that as well. Okay. Right click and then black background and then here it's going to be just white. Yeah. And then for subtitle, we can do that as well. So here we're going to select just white. Now you cannot see the divider here, but you get the point. So there you have it. So what do you think so far, my friend? So it's quite straightforward. So before we end this tutorial, so real quick, this feature is still part of preview. So what does it mean? It means that you have to manually add this feature to part of the desktop. So you go over here, file, options and settings. And here you hit settings. 
a new window pops up go over here preview features and here you also need to select the on object interaction so once you do that you will have this option in power bi desktop you have to restart of course your file another cool feature that i didn't mention to you about was the optimize option as well it's still in preview if you want to select the optimize option you can go over here and also make this active right here the optimize ribbon so i already did it so i don't have to do anything since we are talking about bonuses here let's go back to the clear and apply all the slicers feature so here we have two more options to add these buttons so the first one is the optimize ribbon here once you hit this option here it is the apply all the slices button there you go and then let's say that you have also a go over here you have a button a blank button here so you can also add here an action select this option here and then you can select right here apply all slices you can do that or you can also select right here clear all the slices all right guys i hope you found this tutorial helpful as always if so Please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Also, check these tutorials out. Great information there if you want to keep sharpening your Power BI skills. Thank you guys for your time, and see you next time.